In this question number seven, they're saying that a pilot wants to reach a point B from point A, which is at a bearing of 0, 0.55 degrees. So let's try to visualize what they're trying to say. So uh, 55 bearing will be somewhere, say, here. Okay, so this is. So this is A, this is B. Now, what do they want? This is the bearing 55 degrees. Okay, and uh, the plane can fly 650 kilometers per hour and there is a wind blowing from west. From west means towards east. So let's try to draw this. It is 120 kilometers per hour. I'm not writing the units right now because there's not much space. All right, and the plane can fly at 650 kilometers per hour, but they're asking, find the direction in which the pilot must fly. Okay, so obviously a pilot will fly in this way or this way or this way. We don't know which way. Okay, let's assume one of them. So let's assume he is flying this way. Okay. So 120 is actually starting from here to here, though it is velocity, but we can visualize it uh, in physical triangle. And this will be 650, right? Now we have a triangle where we have two sides, the third, third side, does, this angle is incomplete. We don't have this part of the angle. So what we can do, we know this is 35 degrees, yeah, because this is right angle triangle. So this is 35 degrees. We can use this 35 degrees. So, we want to find this unknown angle, let's call it x degrees, okay? We want to find this x degrees so that we can find the directions. Maybe this x degree will be negative. If it is negative, then we'll go to this way. But right now I'm assuming it is positive, okay? So, we can use sine rule for this, right? Yeah. So, it will be sine. 35 degrees over 650 equal to sine x plus 55 degrees over 120. Yeah, 120 is the opposite, this one. Yeah, so let's cross multiply 120 with this. So 120 is sine 35 degrees over 650 comes out to be sine x plus 55 degrees. That gives us 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.1, 0 0.0589 equal to sine x plus 55 degrees. So, sine inverse of this, 0 0.10589 equal to x plus 55. Now let's see how much it gives. It gives us 6.07. 6.07 equal to x plus 55. Yes, this will give us negative number which is uh, x equal to 6.07 minus 55 which will be uh, 40 not 40, yeah, 40 8.90 degrees negative, right? Which means that the plane is not actually flying in this direction, it is flying in this direction at an angle of 48.9 degrees. So, what we will write the pilot flies on a bearing. of 0, 048.9 okay, degrees, you can write this one, 0, 048.9 degrees. So, since it is north and we know this angle, this angle is 48.9, so that is the bearing where he should fly. Okay, B part says given that the distance between A and B is 1, 2, 5, 0 kilometer. This distance now, okay, the other distances, other numbers we've written are velocity, so let's not mix up. 
This is kilometer, this is distance. I'll redraw the drawing. Let's see. Find the time it will take to fly from A to B. So time we know is distance over velocity, right? So distance is given to us. We just need to find what is the velocity in this direction, A, B. Let me redraw this now. So uh, this is 1250. Now let me write y kilometers per hour. I know this is 120 and this was something like this which was 650 we got this angle was 6 point something yes 6.07 6.07 because 48 point something is on this side of it remaining is 6.07 that's what we got so we can subtract 35 and 6.07 from 180 degrees and we'll get this as about 139 degrees and now we can find y kilometers per hour by using sine rule again so y divided by sine 139 equal to 650 divided by sine 35 so y comes out to be 650 sine 139 over sine 35 degrees which comes out to be 743.47 kilometers per hour. And now we have to find time. Time is distance, which was 1250 divided by 743.47, which is velocity. That comes out to be 1.68 hours. And if we want to make this in minutes, so 0.68 times 60 that comes out to about 41 minutes so the time taken by the plane is 1 hour 41 